Okay, so the zinc ore has finally backed up, which means it won't be producing concrete anymore, but that's fine because concrete is full. Uh, and let me double check that it is fine by checking out the concrete cost for quenching tower. So we need 10 of those, which is only 500. Okay, good. We have 2,000. Um, and let's see what the quenching tower turns into uh, an evaporator. And we need nine of these, and they need no concrete. So we are all set on concrete. We don't need to be producing anymore, so we don't need to force production uh, at different places anymore. Uh, hopefully that'll help with the things that are consuming the raw coal for my base or the burnable fuels, because again, we are still struggling with power. Mm, I say it's okay that the zinc is backed up because we need, uh, what's it called? Because we need, we don't need concrete anymore, but we also need coke. So we still need the coke to produce steel. So we'll see. I mean, it's backed up a pretty good amount. We'll see. Oh, it's backed up a lot, actually. Yeah, so we should be good for some time. Ah, I missed the disco lights. So we could have a rave party every single night telling us that our power is not sufficient. And uh, I've gone ahead and I've found it. Uh, I found the gun turret that's passed on to a new level. Uh, and it's this guy right here, gun turret sergeant. Yeah, sergeant. Uh, so that's the th that's actually the third level. It's got three marks on its on its this sash, I guess. We have another one here who's level two, I believe, or level one. Let me check. Where is it? You are right here. Corporal, level two. Level two at how many kills? 253, and we have our sergeant uh, who's at 500 kills. So. They are shooting faster and have a higher range uh, than the rest of the ones. I think it's more damage, more range, whatever. I'll edit it in post. It, there are a lot of bonuses that come with being a sergeant. Oh, it's funny because the guys next to him have barely any kills. So it kind of seems like there's this effect where the person who's getting all the kills just keeps racking them up uh, forever. But uh, I mean, I guess at some point the biters will, ov will overwhelm and then the other ones will, will need to step in. Oh. It looks like our Essos Northern Gate North has been attacked, um, and I guess it's getting attacked enough for something to get upgraded. Unless I place that upgraded turret there, uh, then I'm not sure. Yeah, so it's daytime, and we're still having disco night problems, uh, so I think I have a temporary solution for this. It's just over here. Um, I know I said that I could split off the I, uh, the rock hole into both directions, but I don't like doing that again because it's less permanent. Um, these are going to eventually go down to 25%, so their streams will get diluted at some point. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to steal iron or steal rock coal from, I think, this one over here. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so we have stolen a little bit of rock. I think I said iron earlier. I meant rock coal. We've stolen a little bit of rock coal from this line whatever this thing is providing um, so that we could boost up our iron. Let me see what this is affected. Oh, more attacks? Okay. Oh, this is powering the tin ore and the zinc ore that we have not yet made, uh, which will shut down soon. So I think using this for power temporarily will be fine. Uh, again, this is, you know, lacking power is affecting production of basically everything. So having more power should will, will be good for us. It'll at least help me get over my little iron deficit. Um, I think the next goal though is maybe I can move my SS Northern Gate East farther east so I can unlock this new raw coal and use that purely for power. Uh, that's what I've been thinking as well. But for now, I mean, this is a temporary solution. As we can see, it's a temporary solution that's draining the belt dry, but that's fine for now. Again, I don't need more ore, I need more power. At least during the daytime we're able to keep up uh, with everything. As you can see here, my iron plate production has increased. It's, yeah, it's like quadrupled in by just adding power and taking it away from the other ores. So uh, I think that's good. Again, we need a lot of iron. We're still building this this new railway because uh, I need tin production now just to build 
uh, just to build the automation or the, the magazines. Okay, I've decided I'm going to actually push out the Esso's Northern Gate East a little more, or not push out, I'm going to explore a little bit further to see what else is over there to see if there's a better place to put the wall. This, I could put the wall right over here, but there would be a lot of places where they could sneak around. Actually, if I do it right here, they couldn't sneak around, but there'd be a lot of interruption on my wall. So I, would, I wasn't sure if this was the best spot. Obviously, I could do it right here. Uh, so I just have the Illuminor and be a nice, easy, solid wall, but it might be better to do it here. Again, I'm not sure yet. I, I wanna do a little exploration. All right, some biters over here. Let's see what type they are. Oh, never mind. This is just biter land. Uh, the new biters are over here. They're not new. Oh, just acidic. Okay. Oh, and laser. Laser seems to be pretty popular. I'm on fire. Okay, we have electrics here as well. It's kind of weird. I thought they'd be more territory-wise. Oh, something has set the forest on fire too, but that's fine. That's just that area up there. Um, over here we have more electric worms. A large, very large nest of electric worms. Oh, they're all electric. Electric biters outrange me, so they're actually pretty dangerous. Uh, if like a big group of them come, they could start shooting at me pretty quickly. Um, stone and carrot. Oh, oh, sheesh. The other thing is they have such a far range. Last time they attacked one of my, when they attacked my bases, they actually damaged the power poles behind my turrets. So if I ever switch to electric, um, if I ever switch to electric inserters, that could be a problem because uh, that would they'd depower my. Oh shoot! Yeah, they would depower them. They would depower the inserters feeding my magazine belts. Um, but we've seen of. Coming up! Oh shoot! We found a wide open field. I wonder if this is some terrain generation going on here. Um, I didn't update any big mods, but uh, yeah, it seems to blast wide open. So I think if I do push the northern, uh, the Esso's northern gate east out, it'll be right here in this kind of weird chunky area. Just got to make sure it's in a spot that none of the biters can walk around. So they actually can walk around here, but if we do it up here, they can walk around up there. In fact, I'm pretty sure they can walk around for most of it. Let me double check that uh, that this t lighter color means you can walk on it. Oh, it doesn't. You can't walk over this. I don't know why it's a lighter color then. Okay, if that's the case, then I will go ahead and just build it probably right here here in the center yeah let's do that right here on this line like this let's go ahead and see how that turns out okay a nice belt like this uh, and I think it works out just fine uh, let me go disassemble the current Esso's Northern Gate East and move it up over here instead huh now that I look at it, it might actually make more sense right here. Now that I know that I can't run around this water, uh, it might make more sense right here in front of this aluminum, just because there's so much less space in front of them. Plus, we get to make use of this this cliff thing at the top here. So if I just make it right here, uh, it might make a lot more sense right here. So yeah, let me let me go remake it. Okay, so I've gone ahead and moved the Esso's Northern Gate east all the way up here. The electricity is not connected because we don't have uh, enough electrical poles. Uh, but yeah, it's right here. Um, I think I put it in a good spot. I could have placed it a little bit better, but I'm tired of picking it up and putting it back down again. So it's in a decent spot. There's a lot of water in front of it, so the biters will have to kind of fight their way around um, and be kind of split up. Uh, also in the future I think I've decided that I'm just gonna have every other turret be a shotgun turret 
So normal gun turret, then shotgun turret, uh, up and down, uh, just because it'll diversify the bullets that we end up using. That way, if one of them ends up running low, the other one will catch up to it. Uh, we can do more advanced military later, but for now, uh, just having at least two different types of turrets out there to combat different types of enemies should be good enough. Uh, but yeah, uh, we have the SOS Northern Gate. Uh, I have to go pick up some more concrete to finish decorating it, but otherwise after that, uh, I'd like to go ahead and commandeer this rock hole uh, for more power so that we can stop having some power issues. Oh, and it's been a while since we've seen the chart, so I guess I'll give it an update. We were able to explore the SOS Northern, or explore north of the SOS Northern Gate, uh, and we did move the gate. Um, here zero tin plates is in progress, and we move the SOS Northern Gate east uh, as well. So next up, uh, we have to make more rock hole for more dedicated power. And then all the magazine stuff, again, is in production. But I guess technically we did finish these, so I'll mark them green. Uh, and I did finish brainstorming, so I guess I said what I would do is I just have every other turret, just alternate between shotgun turret and normal turret that way we'd have a diversification of weapons against the rampant biters that come um it's not as complex as i wanted it to be but i think with the rate that we're expanding uh it would be good to have it like that for now also the fact that we'd be reliant uh we'd, we'd have two different types of uh magazines to uh two different type of magazines to defend ourselves so in case like i don't know if we run out of iron then we'll have to rely solely on magazines, but if we run out of uh, steel, then we'll rely solely on iron. Uh, they also take different amounts of dust, so just having more different types of ammo to defend ourselves would be good uh, in case one of those uh, runs into issues. Oh, I always forget to turn the grid lines off, so here it is uh, without the grid lines. Once we're done with the military, uh, I mean, we just keep running into issues again, right? So Pi updated the mod, suddenly I didn't have any magazines, uh, and now I'm running this whole host of issues I need tin plates which are a billion miles away our power is running out so we'll fix that but again once we finish the military we'll be back on our path to oh, you know what the copper zinc battery technically is done so we'll be back on the path to making the other six for the automation of simple circuit boards oh and i've managed to let myself run out of grappling ammo so now i will be walking back to the base from all the way up here huh so uh, it seems like power is perfectly fine. Also, everything in my smeltery is going great. Um, everything is getting all the fuel it needs. So I don't know why my whole base is freaking out earlier. Um, I rushed all the way over there. I expanded my Esso's Northern Gate to uh, have more visibility on this rock coal so that we could go ahead and turn it into more power. I think I, that's still the plan. I think I'll still make that uh, more power, dedicated power. Uh, and I'll turn um, my excess here. I'll give it two paths, one for power um, and one to, to be used as a burnable. Uh, but yeah, I just kind of I just kind of don't know why my whole base was freaking out earlier. Possibly be because I had drained everything here. Yeah, I don't really know. But all I know is that I'm in the, build, in the middle of building new... Uh, new power and that'll get done soon okay i am going to rebuild this later uh to turn it to, to the other burner ash setup i have but for now um this thing was clogging up my whole system it's actually clogging up both power and the rock hole uh because this managed to get full because it's not consuming the whole thing at once this is a temporary very temporary solution but um yeah this was clogging up with ash which was stopping some of our coal production which means some of this was backing up with ash, which was stopping some of our power. So this might have been our issue. We were in this endless ash blocking coal and ash blocking power loop. Um, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make another belt here uh, that'll go up and up here to insert itself into another, um, another solid separator. Uh, so it'll look something like this. Okay, so basically... Again, uh, ash comes in, it'll join from this input here, it'll go up here, 
it'll get turned into coal dust and iron oxide and soot. Coal dust and iron oxide right here filtered will go in and join this, which is the belt up here for only iron oxide. But for whatever reason, they all get combined anyway because the coal dust goes down here and it gets combined with the iron oxide anyway. So everything will just combine right here. Um, and then again, uh, our soot will go down and it goes over this into an inserter that goes, uh, not an inserter, but a, a, a loader that goes into here. So this will get a little bit extra soot uh, and then these should not back up anymore. Uh, all that's left is to turn on handy hands to allow myself to finish building everything here uh, and then I'll turn it on. Okay, so I got more iron. This has maximum of two inputs, two outputs, and this whole output is getting consumed here. This whole output is getting consumed as well, or actually it's stopping for every once in a while. Um, but it mainly consumes the whole thing. This one's not consuming the whole thing. Okay, so it uses a little bit less. But anyways, the point is we have more ash being eaten now, uh, and that should be being turned into soot, which is getting sent down here, as we can see. And we can see the coal dust and the iron oxide is going and being sent away. So yep, this gets more soot. Um, it produces more ores. I don't know if this is necessary anymore, um, but I will cut it off for now and see what happens uh, when I do. If the whole system, my whole base goes disco rave mode again, uh, and my yeah, my whole base goes disco rave mode again, then I'll put it back. But for now, let's see if this uh, extra ash has solved the case. Either way, I still have to build up enough iron to make extra power. Yeah, I, I, uh, I kind of regret... regret. <coughs> I kind of regret spending all that science on inventory. That was like 2,000, 1,600, 1,200. So that was like 4,800 science, right? And every science is 5.5 iron. Right, so 4,800 times 5, that was basically 25,000 um, iron plates uh, that I spent on inventory space. And it's useful now, but uh, I mean, I've just like my iron production is so slow and I keep trying to fix it, but all my fixes cost me more iron production. So these past couple of hours, I've just been kind of waiting around for iron. I mean, every hour, 82 per minute, right? So, I mean, less less than a thousand an hour, right? Because because 80 times 60 is 480. About four, just 500 iron an hour is not enough. And uh, I mean, I built some grand plans here. So uh, I think for the time being, I'll probably just spend some time down here uh, trying to clear these nests out a little bit uh, just to kill the time while I wait for iron to build up. Closing in on another group here. Let's go ahead and wipe them out. Again, they are getting pretty strong. Um, they are withstanding a lot of shots and a lot of lasers from the companion drones. But uh, yeah, my, my goal is to just slowly push back, see if we can push into the territory a little bit, but just slowly, slowly, slowly. The electric biters are crazy. They're they're tiny, and there's just a lot of them. My drones are already more split off than I'd like them to be. I mean, it's good at least that someone distracted the whole horde. Electric worm, not laser worms. I realize I think laser worms and electric worms have similar animations. I can help clear out the little guys because I want them to focus on the the nests. Okay, that's the nest we failed to take out last time. Or we fail to take out completely. It's because they shoot these. Their range is gigantic. I 
Alright, yeah, yeah, use the water. Smart, guys, smart. There's so many worms. A bunch of the little guys. Don't focus on them. Let me focus on the little guys. You guys need to take out the nests because I don't do nearly enough damage. All right, we're making we're making a good dent here. So electric, electric. Uh, it's more like poofy. It's le lasers. I feel like last longer and go out farther. But there we go. That's good. Yeah, I think we're managing taking out. Oh, someone's playing with a lot of them. Holy crap! What are these tiny things? Oh my goodness, holy shit. They're so tiny. Yeah, my drones cannot deal with that at all. This is definitely somewhere... I don't know why I don't have a shotgun, actually. I should have made a shotgun a long time ago. It's because I don't have any shotgun shells. That's why. If I had a shotgun, I could probably tear through those. Um, but we are now headed into the part of the battle where all my drones are kind of separated. Um, so let me retreat back a little bit. Oh, let me clear this up first. So let me let me retreat back a little bit. It says some of them need repairing. Yeah, some of them have... Again, they're always flying way off in a, the territory. So let's go ahead and recall them real quick. Uh, incoming lag. Here we go. One, two. Three, four, five. Five and John Boy, last one to fall in line. I'll take care of these guys. Come on, get out of here. All right, let's regroup, um, and then we can go ahead and give another attack a try. This time, let's come in from the bottom. So here we go. Oh, one got pulled off already. All right, we're gonna come in from the bottom here. All right, creeping up on this group here. Let's take them out. Get some electrics, some acidics. Okay, good gun. Let's continue down down this way, maybe. Maybe we shouldn't spread out up there. Maybe it's too late and you guys already have. You guys are getting pulled away by that little group. Are you serious? Come on. Focus, focus. Okay, come back, come back. All right. Let's go here again. Let's go say hello to these guys. Spawner spitters. These guys are the ones that I need the uh, that I need shotgun shells for. Um. Well, they all left again. They're all kiting and destroying randoms. I mean, this is fine, honestly. I could probably just idle here and watch them go at it as long as they don't destroy themselves I mean look at this they can't really they're picking them off one at a time but it's simply not enough oh. let's call them back again all right, back this way. Oh shoot, they're bringing everyone. Oh shoot, the electrics. Okay, well that was good. Oh, you know what? One of them led the rest of them off, so maybe you guys can destroy some of the stuff here. Nice, nice, okay. That's good. I come back here. Okay, don't lead a whole army. Okay, the forest is on fire. The forest I'm in is on fire. Let's just kind of walk our way out of there. That'll burn itself out pretty quickly.
I'm telling you, it is super hard to push here. Like, really, really hard to push. Again, I need I need to get more, but uh, yeah, I need I need to I need to make more more companion drones, but I don't want to spare the iron for that right now. Like I'm, I currently need my iron to finish my my ambitious build up here. My ambitious build just being to reautomate magazines. All right, everyone, come back. Oh my God, drag a whole army with you, won't don't you? All right, re-engage. Now that we're a group, and that you have me. Holy crap, I'm dying. Huh, not bad. That wasn't bad at all, actually. I like these new tactics that I've been coming up with. Okay, they're distracted, so you two, you three, but now you two, can go in and maybe sweep in, take these guys out. We're pushing them back slowly. Doing some work here. Nice, okay. We're doing good work here. Where's everyone else? Gone again, playing? Okay, here's what I think uh, is the new next version of my evolution. This is the next evolution. I make a simple wall. I call them back. They drag all their fun biter friends with them. We make a last stand here. Come on, bring everyone. All right, we turn it back on. Okay. Oh, there's some of them are retreating. Okay, they didn't really come to my wall like I had envisioned at all. Let's just destroy that. Come on, pick, pick the walls up please, thank you. Let's continue on marching right here. All right, let's move it up. Make sure we got everything up here. I mean, they're pushing on ahead. Oh, nice, I got rid of a lot of stuff here. Okay. That was some good. That was a good amount of pushback. I'm pretty happy with what we were able to do right there. And you're getting damaged, so let's uh, call these guys back. Call this a victory and head home. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we will simply walk on out of here. Okay, well maybe we'll blow those guys up and then we'll walk on out of here. Alright, in the interest of time, I know I wanted to fix the, the power issues, but I think getting this tin ore up and running up sooner rather than later is the best course of option. Our power has kind of fixed itself again somehow. So we expanded for rock hole for maybe no reason, but I think it should be fine. Um, let's go ahead and refocus on getting the tin ore so that we can make the buildings, so that we can make magazines, so we can defend ourselves, so that we're no longer on some kind of doomsday timer. All right, so I just had an incredible stroke of genius. I don't know why I didn't think about this earlier. Oh, so my, my incredible stroke of genius is to thank my patrons. So thank you, Ema, and thank you, John Boy.